A miserable man, suffering from various ailments, was walking on the road, his face expressing a total surrender to the Lord, and totally oblivious of his surroundings. Suddenly a young fellow who was very close to him, handed him a sharp knife, saying hold it for me, I will take it later and disappeared. Soon a big crowd gathered around him, looking at the blood-stained knife, and the injured girl who was writhing in pain, lying just a few feet away. Somebody called the ambulance, while some alerted a police constable who was on his rounds. The constable contacted the nearby police station, and informed them about the incident, Soon an inspector and a deputy arrived with some of their constables, and cordoned of the area. In the meantime, the ambulance also arrived and took the girl to the hospital. The man was taken into custody and for inquiry, taken to the closest police station. He was in total dissolution. He could not answer any questions put forward to him. He was just blabbering, and whatever he was talking was incoherent. The police could not understand what he was saying, and how it relates to the stabbing of the girl. They wondered the girl could be related to him, and due to her rude behavior he would have stabbed her. They asked how the girl is related to you. He could not answer and what he was uttering was just gibberish. The police were in total dilemma, they were unable to come to any conclusion. There were no eyewitnesses as such and the one who called the police was also not traceable. The girl was unconscious. Her injury was not that serious but had deep wounds which may take time to heal. Two constables and an inspector were waiting outside her ward for her to regain consciousness, so they can get her statement. The doctors at the GH dressed her wounds. She was already sedated. The police were informed that she may turn around early morning or at sunrise. Only then they may get her statement if she was stable. The police were wailing away the time drinking tea and walking along the corridor, chatting about the mishap and the brutal behavior of the present generation. The chirping of birds and movements of traffic was flowing through the windows of the corridor. The early morning daylight was spreading around. The girl slowly whined and asked where am I? One of the nurse said you are in hospital, you were injured and brought here in an ambulance. Glucose and saline was administered to her. The nurse asked her do you need water to drink, she nodded, and the nurse slowly poured little water into her mouth, she gulped it and asked for more. She was given sufficient water by then the doctor entered and inquired about her health. Seeing her quite stable, doctor asked her can you tell what happened yesterday, who stabbed you? The girl nodded in the affirmative, so the police were called in. The police slowly asked her how she feels and told her to narrate the incident, how she got the stab wound and who is responsible for it. The girl said he is Natash Mehta, he wanted to marry me, but being drunkard and a vagabond, I rejected him, in spite of it he was pestering me. I paid no need to him and he did this to me. The police asked her about the old man who was holding the knife, she said I don't know anything about that, then they asked about Natesh, his description, and where he lives. She gave the information to the police, and they left her in the care of the hospital staff. The police wanted to take Natesh into custody immediately. They spread out to get him, and in a couple of hours Natesh was captured drinking tea at a roadside shop. He was brought to the police station and a thorough inquiry was done. He confessed to the crime he accepted, he did it out of frustration. The police learned the old man was thrown out of his house by his elder son's family, 
and was in a very pitiable condition. He was sent to an old age home for better care, where he could live comfortably with other old people of his age.